Hey you and welcome back to my channel, Sweetie BLV Mouth of the South. No intro, no outro, just this. Ha! Today is oh my gosh, guys, she's excited. I I I, <laughs> I can't even speak. It's an exciting flipping day. This unboxing right here is amazing to me because I don't know how many times I've told you guys I want this back I need her I have her now um bought this bag from fashion file actually I put this bag on reserve y'all know how I do and then I take the full what yes ma'am the full 60 days to pay her off and then she can ship to me which Really, all total takes anywhere from 63 to 67 days, but still, <laughs> potato, potato. <gasps> Hope you guys are having a, a special and fabulous week. I can't talk. I'm so excited. That's it. I'm just so excited to reveal, to reveal this bag to you. Listen to me. Words, they are hard. That's what she said. Okay, about words, though. You know what I mean. Uh, today, I'm filming this. Today I don't feel like doing anything. That just popped into my head. As you know, when a song comes in, she's got to come out. Listen, today is actually I'm filming on the 26th, which is my daughter's, both of my daughter's birthdays. At the end, I will tell you, I don't know if you guys are into this, but I'll tell you a teeny bit of the last one's birth story. It's actually really good. Did you guys ever watch that when I was pregnant like e eons ago? There was a show called Birth My Birth Story or whatever. And I have one for you, but that's coming up. Bag of the day is this again because I don't know. I've got receipts and stuff in there. Uh, I just I, I love her. I, I really want the Loewe bag that looks like this. Okay, there I've said it. I've said it. I've said too much, but I really would like to have this uh, little small Loewe bag, which probably prompted them to make this. I don't know which came first, but I love this coach. Thank you, Coach Alec. Come through. I will, of course, link anything I show you. Oh, guys. <gasps> TJ Maxx ran yesterday. Oh, looking for perfume as I do. You know me. And picked up these little crawlers, $9.99. Picked up this Diamond L bracelet, Diamondique, Diamond C, CZ, whatever, $29.99. <gasps> it's a deal. Look at me. Oh, I'm covered. I'm dripping in diamonds. Okay, this came from Etsy a long time ago. It actually had hanger marks in it, so I had to try to wet a washcloth. If you ever see my shoulders are wet, that's from where I've pulled out a t-shirt that's been on the hanger for a while, and I have to... Uh, that happens quite a bit, but yeah, that's how you get those those marks out. Anyway, I'm just stalling now. Uh, scent of the day, I finally did get this little beach in, this Tiffany and Love, or I guess you would call it Love. It's greasy from <laughs> where I put it on after I get out of the shower, and, sh and I have lathered myself and lotioned up. Mm -hmm, yes. Okay, I'm not going to touch that. I'm not going to touch that. I wish someone would, though. Oh, yes. Anyway, I love this. Grapefruit is all I can tell you. The citrusy grapefruit that comes out of this is so freaking divine. Oh, let me just spray it. I can't resist. Not Okay, I don't want to spray it again. Maybe I do. Maybe I just need one more spritz, girl. Maybe just... Okay. Mm-hmm. Oh, love, 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 love that. Okay, into this reveal. I have already seen this. I've already taken action on this bag, meaning I haven't cut the tags off, but I've already done something to the bag. <laughs> so here we go, guys. It's going, the story is going to show, it's going to reveal itself, really. It's this from Fashion File. I already said that. Okay, let's just get right to it because I am stalling. The handles are going to show what it is. Ah! <laughs> God, I'm so excited every time I see it. It's the Fendi Sunshine Tote. What? I am so... Ick. I can't even tell you the happiness that this tote brought me has is is bringing me now like I oh I love it I love it I love it oh 
So this was not excellent or brand new condition. Uh, there were some tiny, minute flaws that I have fixed. When I, I got this a few days ago, I set out to fix um, one of the major things. And I guess I can just show you now. Uh, I'll, sh I'll insert a picture of what the damage was. There was a tiny rip right here in the leather. And I'll show you now. Yeah. Okay. See that? All right. I'm going to, I'm going to push that picture over to the side for you. Um, but look now at, is it, is it, is it coming through? It's right here. It was right there. And I went ahead and tried to repair the little, I need some more, you know what I need is some some actual paint that's this color because I really kind of went in with the wrong color a little bit so there's a little darkening but um and it seems like it popped up again so I'm gonna have to but anyhow it just looks where like somebody you know mistakenly ran something across the top and it like scooted the leather off or whatever or the coating I don't really but it wasn't a good look and I was like, oh, let me fix that. So I took a little super glue and I put it on the end of like a needle, just a very, very pin drop of an amount. Put it there, smoothed it back over with my finger, kept doing that all day. And I tried to go back in with a little bit of orange, just a dot of orange, but the orange that I have is not the same as this orange i know i wanted okay originally i did want the chocolatey one or the caramel brown kind of like this color um but this was such a daggone good deal i said i can't pass this up so it was 27 something i kept watching 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 it you guys may have been watching it too on your end um you were watching your end oh girl let me next time okay anyway i was watching 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 for it to go down it did there's another thing that i love to do watching it go down and down and down <laughs> she's extra nasty today why not i'm in a good mood so this one actually alerted me and said hey it's whatever 22 50 and also they were having this 10 percent take 10 you put that in the thing so that's when i put it on reserve because i was like yeah uh that's the tax on this bag well everything got screwed up on fashion files in when i reserved it it looked like i hadn't paid anything down on it and it looked like i owed way less than what i did because i had store credit i had two store credits where i returned those louis vuitton shoes and also i got uh, a dior bag that i was going to try to resell and patch up but it was too far gone so i sent it back so I had like 440 and I'd already put something else on reserve. So I might have had like five something. I, I had almost eleven hundred dollars credit. So by the time all was said and done, I had to call him because I emailed him. I said, hey, it's not showing the right amount. Can you fix it? And the girl was like, oh yeah, just give us a call. So I called him and she said well now that i refund what you paid and i put it back it's going back up to 27 2800 and i was like well no and she goes i know no no i know so she brought it down she brought it down some more she gave me a discount and then by all by the time all was said and done after my credits i ended up paying a little over 1200 for the bag out of pocket i mean i know i had those credits and the, that was money i had accumulated but to me, it felt like, oh, shoot, I got this back for 1200 which I know, the math ain't right on it. It still came out to what it was. But still, I feel like I got a great deal for a $3,000 bag, girl. Woo! Okay, let's do an autumn spin on her. I don't know if you guys can see the whole frame, but here we go. show you a little bit more it comes with the strap on of course um but there were some okay so there are a little 
there's a little there is a little wrinkling right here also where someone stored this improperly i store it i am storing it now with the handles up in its bag um i mean i've only had it a short time but that's the way i'm going to store this bag because what somebody did was they shoved it in the dust bag and they left this laying down and it was too tight in there and you can see there's a little bit of indentation on each side where the handle um, laid down. It's not too bad, but, and there was some corner wear, which I went in with my leather protectant, and you really can't even hardly see it now. Um, but I went back in and tried to, tried to smooth that out, girl. Oh, man. Yeah, that's the only obvious and then there's a little, like, I guess where the handles weren't laying right and it wasn't stuffed uh, correctly, it got a little bit of a kind of pucker right here. I love a good pucker, but not on my back, girl. <laughs> but yeah, so that is, that's the obvious, you know, things on this bag. So let's see. So this is not a crossbody bag, girl. This is definitely a shoulder time. She shoulders her. Okay, let me show you what it looks like. I'm gonna scoot the camera back, hold on. Okay, so here's how she looks when I shoulder her. Can you see me? Hey, back there, hi! <laughs> but yeah, um, here's what she looks like if I'm just, I'm just like, oh, hi, yeah, just me and my Fendi toe. Don't mind me, hey, bitch, hi. <laughs> Yeah, I know I'm just running into the bank and Starbucks, but she's coming with me, guys. <laughs> okay, back to the extreme close-up. I love, I love, I love. Let me see what came in. I didn't even really check all this out. This is their stuffing. God, I love a good stuffing and gravy. Do you guys? Man, it's been a while because, you know, we only get that stuff once a year. Okay. Comes with the Fendi accoutrement. Very important. And it comes with a Fendi large dust bag, which I kind of knew all that because it was in the, the listing for it. I'm, I'm sorry, but this is crooked, right? I can't deal with that. And also my lights, I, I've noticed my lighting lately. I'm gonna have to get, I'm gonna have to use, I have another overhead light like this. I'm gonna have to use it maybe over here instead. That one, I don't know if you ever noticed this, but. It'll go like really bright and then I don't know if you guys notice that, but I notice it and it's terrible. So inside, if you can see on the top there, it says Fendi. It's got the little gold writing. Inside looks really good. I don't think there were any major flaws inside the bag, but whoever had this bag, she carried it and loved it. And then she was like, yeah, let's move it on out. <gasps> what is this girl? Okay. So the stickers are still on. Ooh, hoo, hoo, hoo. wow. I'm like that though. I'll leave stickers on something, but I'm gonna take these off because she's mine. She's not going back. We're cutting the tags off of her and oh, my dream bag, my dream bag. Oh, I sound like an old witch. But anyway, I'll take those off later. But yeah, all that, let's see if these have them too. They do, girl, they do. Oh my God, all the um, hardware still has the tape up on it. Okay, I love that. So I'm just gonna be storing her. Oh, the leathery smell. Oh my God, I love her. Um, inside is like, you know, just the back of the raw leather, kind of microfiber-ish. It feels like it's got a, a little Fendi label inside here. So yeah, overall looking good. I like the orange. I really didn't think, like I was like, oh, I'd really have the brown, what is she thinking? But I just love the orange. I think it's classy. I like the handles that they are white or creamy looking. I don't know, what do you guys think? Tell me everything. I'm so excited, girl. <laughs> so yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do a bag switch. Let's bag switch her. We're gonna put all the stuff from my Andy in here. I don't, I don't know what I'm doing. I, a couple of receipts, my TJ receipt, a lippy, and a micro perfume just in case. And then all of my, oh wow, um, guys, I've got a 
a floating mask down here. I, I think I need some more stuff. <laughs> I'm just not used to carrying such a big tote, but yeah, my poor little, my little contents in there, nothing compared to, you know, what could go in here. Oh, I love, I love, I just think it looks so classy and so good. I, I'm just, I'm just a huge friggin' fan now. I'm loving. I'm trying to keep these handles up. I wish they would go inside the bag because, like I said, they need no more, you know what I mean? Demarcation on my bag. I don't know if that's the right word or not. She doesn't know words today. Oh, oh God, she smells so great. Okay. So anyway, thank you guys for watching my <laughs> unboxing on the bag I mentioned, I don't know what do I mention this every video, every other video. I, I mention it a lot, right? And um, she has soothed the raging beast of the Sunshine Shopper tote for a while. Oh, man, I'm so excited. I am just whew, goo goo gaga. Um, okay, thank you guys for coming over today and watching my little video. Uh, tell me how you, um, what you think, how you feel about this bag. Um, she's done it. It's over. I don't have to. That's off the unicorn, you know, bucket list or whatever wish list. So there's some stuff that'll come in behind it. You know me. I'm eternally on the hunt, just looking and. <laughs> right so what bag will go on the wish list next all right tell me what bag is on your wish list or what bag you have on reserve right now with fashion file i want to know everything all right if you would hit that subscribe hit the like also uh comment down below get in my box roll around i have links for you on some things if you want to hit those and check it out i'll try to link my crawlers and <laughs> she has crawlers don't tell anybody. Or is that Snapper? No. Nope. Yeah, crawlers and, okay. I've always wanted all those. <gasps> anyway, and if y'all would remember one thing, if you see my husband, girl, don't tell him nothing. Bye. I decided since it was my daughters, both of them, they had the same birthday. She was not, my youngest one, was not really um, supposed to come on my older one's birthday. They are eight years to the day apart. Uh, she was a, oh my God, we're what? Pregnant, you know, uh, baby. She was one of those like, you said, I'm 38 years old. Wait now, what? Yeah, so uh, Bill was 43 when she came. <laughs> so, girl, we are those. We'll be, you know, 60 when she graduates. Well, Bill will, but I'll be... 56 I, guess, I don't know oh my gosh anyway crazy but 15 years ago today girl um i had what they call it was not really diagnosed but i had really high blood pressure uh toxemia or what's the other name for that preeclampsia and they never really said oh you have preeclampsia they they did put me on bed rest um I was to take my blood pressure every day. One day I got up, well, it was this day. It was a Thursday, I'll never forget it. It was uh, July 26th. I got up, I sat on the edge of my bed, um, took my blood pressure and it was 210 over 120, something like that. I mean, it was, yeah, it was, should I call 911? So I called the uh, my OB and I said, look, it's sky high, what should I do? They want me to come in right now. So my husband came and left work got me. I took a shower. He came and got me. They didn't even check me in a room. They, into a, um, you know, like a, that, okay. So I was sitting in the waiting room. They didn't take me back to an exam room. The hospital was inside where they were located. So they just went and put me in a room like, yep, you having this baby today, which was my daughter, my other daughter's birthday. And she was so sad. But anyway, so long story short it was uh bad i had my i had pulmonary edema turns out all the fluid that had i just thought i was just super fat that was fluid and but i was fat it had accumulated it started going into my lungs and i started i guess drowning uh so yeah they had to emergency c-section her out they put us both baby and me i didn't even realize it i was almost out by then they ambulanced us over to a bigger hospital. 
Um, when I got there, they put me in one of these. I kept begging them, please. They sutured a blood gas to my arm. It was, it was crazy, guys. But I kept... I rolled from the ambulance into through emergency. They started, you know, checking me out. They put me in ICU completely right away, girl. I was, you know, dying. Um, and I said, please don't put the tube. Don't intubate me. Please try to. And, and so the doctor, who was really, really nice, he was like, we're going to try a BiPAP or a CPAP machine, this big, which pushes oxygen into your lungs. lungs. And I was, I guess they were trying to get the fluid off of me. But anyhow... So, in my haze, I got into my room. I don't remember much. I do remember, this is the one thing that I remember. I was out for several days, right? I remember being in a great big room in the ICU, right? I didn't know I was in the ICU. I just thought I was in labor and delivery or something. And, um, I mean, I know all this now. These machines would come and they would whir, whir, and, and, you know, ding, and bing, 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 bing. And I would, you know, that would wake me up a little bit, and I couldn't really turn or anything. So <laughs> when that would happen, all the nurses and doctors and stuff would come running in, and they would not check me. They would just get behind me and do whatever it is they did. I don't know. I didn't know. It was just, I was in a haze. That would happen a lot. So um, finally, three or four days after all this, I sort of started coming to my husband was standing there and I said, he was like, how, how's it been going? I'm glad you're, you know, we were just like, what's going on? And I was steadily serious. I said, Bill, there is some man, is he okay? And he was like, who? And I said, whoever I'm sharing this room with, I don't know. I had it in my head. It was a man. He is dying because he was like, what are you talking about? And I said, because every time at night when nobody's here and I'm by myself, these machines behind me go off and I assume they're his and he starts dying and they come in and try to save him. And it's horrible. I can hardly sleep. And Bill is like, okay, baby, that was you, dummy. You're the only one in here. You were dying and they were coming in to save you. And I was like, oh my God, what? So anyhow. It was a, listen, um, so on her birthday today, I just want her to know, I went through a lot of crap to get you here, girl. So there, <laughs> no, happy birthday to my girls. I love you dearly, and I would do it all over again. Girl, we got to save that old man behind me, bitch. <laughs>